my name is Sebastian and in this video I want to show you how to use Gmail and in general your email inbox more effectively. These are some tips that I gathered and am using over the years because I also got asked a few times how to, well, what about this inbox zero and all of these things. And in my mind, it's kind of interesting because I'm, I'm not really struggling with emails. For me, it's kind of a straightforward uh, experience, but I will show you a few, well, very practical tips and tricks with Gmail and also a sort of process. So this is just a sort of setup that I now have. Usually my inbox doesn't look like that, but just uh, as some example what to do here. What I'm using is the Gmail client in my browser. I use this actually all the time in my browser because I've said this before a few times. I think the Gmail um, client is a very good example, a positive example, how to implement a proper keyboard concept and how to make the U UI and just UX more well, fluent, more nicer for us, even if you're not a developer, but just in general. So what I really, really advise you first and foremost is to enable a proper keyboard usage so that you can use your keyboard to do pretty much everything in Gmail. And this is a really nicely thought out concept, I think. So down here, you will find my keys that I'm pressing to, you know, select some messages and things like that, which is then really handy. Now, the nice thing about that, we can have a look at the settings here. The nice thing is that all of, all of these keyboard shortcuts are available here if we um, enable them on the keyboard home row. So you don't have to, well, move your hands around. You can basically stay on this home row of F and J in your keyboard. And you can say, well, I can use, that's why it's J and K. It's sort of Vim-like uh, mappings here in order to do that. And then, of course, you can also uh, go around and say you would like to delete uh, some messages and open an archive and all of these things. So first of all, um, when it comes to inbox zero and this approach that I'm usually using, it's in my mind uh, um, a little bit overhyped. Like for me, this is not a topic that should be that important. It's actually more obvious or it's more straightforward if I think about it. If I say this already, what you see for me, that's a sort of negative example, how I don't want my email to look like because of all of these messages that you have here. Why? Because of the cognitive load. If I am working on something right now, I'm working on, on a specific problem and then I need to check my email because some colleagues send something. And then I see all of these other things. I immediately get distracted. And whether I like it or not, I'm just subconsciously parsing all of these messages. I'm reading that. I'm like, oh yeah, I haven't that. I haven't done that yet. I didn't respond to that person. How would I respond to this? It's it's not important right now. So actually, what I would like to have is some sort of focus. So what I, what I want per default, I want my well inbox just to be empty. And if I need to do something, well, then there are a few choices to be done. But on the other hand, unless I'm actually actively checking my emails right now, I don't want to see this all together. So that's the first thing, only check your email so and so often. I really compare it to a physical post box. I wouldn't go and run there every five minutes. Well, okay, also the post um, delivery person doesn't come that often, but you get the idea. For me, that's a different approach. Okay, so what do I do with an, when an email comes in? Well, there's a just very simple decision tree. So is this email important, uh, first of all, and do I need it for later reference, like FYI? Okay, let's go through a few, and here you see this keyboard uh, shortcuts that I'm pressing. Let's say all of these uh, are not important, but from for some reason, I just want to maybe keep them for later reference. So let's say I would like to archive them or just get it out of the inbox. So with this, it's called remove label with Y and then they're gone, which means they're not deleted, but they're sort of here it says archived. So they are in the sort of archive of all of your emails. How this works in Gmail is that you have all sorts of labels. You can sort of think of them like folders, but it's actually more like an actual label that you uh, place on an email because you could have multiple ones. And then I say, well, if I remove this inbox label, so it's away from my inbox, it's there under all emails. You can actually find this in your navigation or go to a GA for go to all emails. If I press uh, G, GA, then I just see, okay, there are a lot of uh, things here and you will find 
uh, your email there later on. If I go to GI, go to inbox, then I can go here as well. So there's another helpful thing is navigation in Gmail, which you can have a, have a look at the keyboard shortcuts, really help you to move around and to not use your mouse. You can just do everything on the keyboard. I really, really encourage you to have a look at these keyboard shortcuts because doesn't matter which job you have quite typically you have to use emails at some point so every day you sort of use uh, the email program and it really makes sense to get use of these uh, to these things because then you will be much faster that's really an investment I believe okay so about this general navigation just to look at emails to go around let's go over the um, most important ones but you can find them in the docs so go to the inbox go to all of the emails GT go to the send emails and so on and so forth I can go to some folders or labels GL and then I can immediately type for example I can say well uh, what are these uh, emails that I would like to have in, in this junk folder and things like that and go back so all of these things can be done very easily now as for reading and selecting uh, emails I can for example go and say well I select one press O for open and this is now well just a conversation I, I did here there's another um, well way to select that which is N and P for next kind of like message in that thread and previous thread so I can go there open it go there open it and so on and so forth I could go and forward and reply to individual ones like um, F for forward R for reply A for reply all things like that that just really makes sense because if I say A and then say hello thanks for the update and something like that just scroll this so you see for the update and whatever and you press send and there you go and then you can go back now if I say well I just replied then I can also archive this because if I uh, get the reply then we'll get it back I can also undo with Z and say well I didn't want that I actually wanted to well put it somewhere else or delete in case I didn't reply to yet then I do something else with it so again let's go back to a process what I usually do is the email important well, yes and yes and no if I if it is important if I want to keep it for later reference I typically archive it if not if I say okay it is not important then I delete it I select here and delete with hash and then it's gone if I need to deal, uh, deal with it if I need to do something then for me it's kind of like is it really really fast can I do it right away typically less than two minutes then I will just you know go and reply or go and do it or if not and now that's the important thing for this sort of inbox zero approach then I need to do something with it but not right now I don't want to see it I still want to get it out of the way and typically what I do is that I say okay then I would like to uh, use some sort of to do uh, program or whatever your to do list uh, approach is I don't want to use my inbox my emails as a to do list replacement why because it's a bad idea because the next idea the next uh, moment I look at it I might get five new emails and then I'm sort of distracted and I actually wanted to solve this problem and not the distraction that arrives right away so for me it should be more the deliberate process of saying right now I need to check this particular email or you know need to get the update from the email because I need that information for working on a task so what I do instead is to say well if I say if I need to keep it I well for for example go to uh, whatever go to my um, to-do list and take down a note to say okay respond to that person and when what I say I want to move this for a folder that usually I call to do temp or something like this where then it's gone and then later once I do that actual task that might take longer so I don't want to do it right now then I just go to that um, label and say okay then I can read it again or I can search for it and so on and so forth but that should be the process so that is to say okay usually I want to go and have this sort of uh, inbox that then says okay actually I don't want to see things I want to go over it so make no mistake these keyboard shortcuts are really really helpful and I fully advise you to have a look at them because you're gonna spend well every day sort of at least a few minutes in your email program typically it really makes sense I think it's a good investment but now also there's of course automation that can help you because 
when I use my email, quite typically, I actually, well, I get many, many emails if I count the overall number per day. But the amount of emails that I consciously like look at and interact with is usually like maybe 10 or not much more because everything else, well, is either already sent into a specific folder or, well, I just quickly archive and delete without even thinking about it. And this is quite helpful for, well, having a look at these in Gmails that are called labels and especially the automation features. You can go to the settings, you will find them under filters. And while I have to admit, I don't know if I'm quite happy with the usability here, it's a little bit clunky to create such a filter, but it's really, really helpful. So this is just an example of what I created here for this video. Usually I have, well, first of all, the first one, which means for my case, that's a match that says all of the emails, everything, don't send it to spam. So there is a special uh, spam folder here that you might or might not use. I'm not a big fan of this because, well, it's it might be automatically sent into this. And then if I don't look at it or if I just, well, if I don't see that, um, then it might be deleted and it might be something important. So for me, it's something like I want to have a conscious rule. I'm a developer. I know what I define here. And then this should be filtered as such accordingly. So what I do instead is to say, okay, have some uh, filters here. So uh, first of all, everything originally should be in the inbox or well if it matches certain emails so if you say well a certain um, email address a certain uh, message in the subject you can search for certain strings i mean you can check this out uh, there's also some documentation for that and then is to say well if that matches something here you can also try out that filter by searching for it is usually that i say okay now skip the inbox don't show it to me so sort of archive but apply apply some label so it might be a mailing list that you subscribe to it might be something to read later if i say okay i have some sort of newsletter that i find really cool but i don't want to see it right now i want to see it when i actually have the time so well just automatically put it into this and once i go over that then uh, i see it or you know some junk folder where i kind of still want to keep it because i might want to search for it but then everything is there or also very important automation for documented invoices if I say I get some invoice update that I need to keep because of tax reasons or whatever but I don't want to see right now or I don't want to deal I want to deal with it once I do my taxes or I do uh, this sort of approach then that's also a special folder so all these sort of actions that otherwise you would do manually can be automated when it's already a rule that is always the same case. So that is very simple, especially with um, the subject that you have in the email or some sort of uh, recipient. So that is kind of straightforward that you can do. So for me, these are the most important um, aspects when dealing with Gmail or how to use Gmail. So first of all, I really encourage uh, to activate the keyboard shortcuts to get used to that. So just the overall usage of saying, well, browsing through, opening, uh, opening up, applying a label, archiving, deleting, all of these things, that's really helpful. And then for writing emails, I actually, there are some other tools out there and, you know, something like a template uh, response and things like that, where you say, well, you could apply something uh, very quickly. But what I actually do, and it sounds really weird, but I usually use, well, my command line and especially Vim to say I would like to uh, create some, some email. Why? Because for me, in an editor, in a code editor, I'm just faster. But that's just me. I could say, you know, dear sir or madam, um, hello world, as regards uh, Sebastian Dashner, as regards this. And then I can go and copy and paste it and I say, well, message uh, this person with some subject and then just put in the email, um, control enter and it will be sent and then there you go. So that's um, quite straightforward to say, you can know you can write some email. Of course, you could also go and use some browser plugin to have some uh, auto text responses where you can have quick snippets and sort of templates uh, that you can insert. That's also really helpful. It really depends how you use this. But for me, you know, they're just typically a few greetings that I put in and that's already sufficient. So I hope that was helpful just as some inspiration. 
I know that Gmail has many, many more different features and sort of things that are out there. I usually don't use many more um, or much more what I just showed you. I especially like to have a clean overview. I don't like to have too much, well, magic going on unless I define that magic because then I know sort of uh, what I get. But I hope also that was helpful for those of you who are struggling a little bit with the topic, because for me, you know, the topic of email is quite frankly not that a big one. I, I just enjoy, you know, using all of these shortcuts uh, features and then it's quite helpful. So in general, it's, it just uses these sort of principles that I've been talking um, a little bit more on this channel and on my video course that you can check out of saying how can I just use automation and how can I just use my setup so that I'm not distracted. This is probably the most important takeaway here of the sort of Inbox Zero approach is really it it takes your mental energy away. It's so much cognitive load to see this list of unresponded uh, emails or something that you haven't dealt with. So just have some sort of process. And then if keyboard shortcuts and automation can help you, the better. I hope this was helpful. If you have some other tips or some other ideas, I'm really curious, put them in the comments and I would really appreciate a like and thanks a lot for watching. Bye.